Brianna Fraser has a major fallout with Jamie Fraser who accuses her of sleeping with a man for lust and trying to cover the pregnancy as violation. Raise your hands if the deep heart's core made you cry and yelp only to leave you gasping. Insert raising hands emoji. We started the episode with a big question, what will Brianna do? Will she keep the baby that may or may not be Roger's? After escaping the Mohawks of New York, Roger ends up in a time-traveling portal, easily identified with the buzzing sound the rocks made at Craig Nodun. Roger has been through a lot this season and his quest to return to his love, Brianna Fraser, has so far been futile, to say the least. After a minute of hesitation, he stretches his hands to place it on the rocks and since that is all it takes to time travel, he may just vanish from the 18th century. That will be unfair on so many levels especially because Jamie Fraser, Claire Fraser, and young Ian have embarked on a journey to get Roger back to pregnant Brianna who has decided to keep the baby. Jamie Fraser, with all the guilt burdening him for mistaking Roger as Brianna's rapist and brutally beating him up in the last episode, has quite a few things to prove to Brianna. He has already proven that he isn't good enough a father to Brianna after accusing her of betting a man for lust and trying to cover the pregnancy as violation. Brianna slaps Jamie for the comment and says, My father would have never said what you said to me. He was a good man. You are a savage. The episode begins with Brianna noticing Jamie's wounded hand and, as he dismisses it as an accident, there are no further questions asked. It is only when Lizzie discloses that her mistress's rapist will not haunt her dreams anymore as he was beaten up by Jamie that Claire aligns the dots and questions Jamie. Before the fallout, it really looked like Brianna and Jamie were getting along. The father-daughter duo went hunting together and exchanged some sweet words with Brianna calling him da. In the beginning of episode 10, we got to see a really dark side of Jamie but that was only an act to prove to Brianna that what happened to her was not her fault. It takes courage not to fight. But after the fallout, Brianna does not hesitate to slap Herda and call him a self-righteous bastard. Even Lizzie, who had a major part to play in this miscommunication, is told by her mistress that she ought to be sorry for what she did. Lizzie may have had good intentions but, since that was an assumption, there were other things she could have done than to tell Jamie Fraser about it. Roger, who was beaten black and blue, is thankfully alive, but his plight is nothing to be thankful for. Swollen and mercilessly dragged by the Mohawks, young Ian reveals that he sold Roger to the Mohawks in exchange of a necklace. The necklace, however, will help them find the village of the Mohawks which is clearly miles and miles away from North Carolina. It will take months to reach their place. So a pregnant Brianna cannot embark on the journey and sends her mother who will be a familiar face to Roger. Roger is made to walk by the horseman and the man accompanying him dies on the road. With no food and little water, Roger is made to walk for days, but thankfully he manages to escape as he slips through the winding paths. The gunshot fired misses him and, though the Mohawks are savages, they avoid killing their captive. In fact, it is said the noble ones induct the captive into their tribe to replace their lost ones. Brianna, who is extremely mad at Jamie Fraser but is also delighted by the news that Roger did come back for her, is sent to Aunt Joe Casta's River Run to be well taken care of during her pregnancy. Murta takes her to Joe Casta's place and oh what a lovely meeting it is. Brianna, like her mother, shows grit and tells Joe Casta that she is with child and without a husband. Aunt Joe Casta, who is not fond of Claire but loves Jamie, seems impressed by Brianna. Brianna is hopeful that Roger will return because she pretty much has no clue about more time-traveling portals besides the one in Scotland. Since he never left for Scotland, and in a way never left Brianna, there was hope looming in the air only to be snuffed once Roger placed his hands on the stones. We ended the episode with another big question, will Roger now travel forward in time?